Hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Swagata Ashwini. I am a senior data scientist with a company called Boomi. Today's session is going to be a very interesting topic. I'm going to talk about how you can deploy your own custom machine learning models using Amazon's uh, SageMaker, which is provided by AWS. So let's get started with the agenda for today. So first I'm going to briefly talk about the topic, which is how do you deploy these custom models in SageMaker? I'm going to briefly talk about a little bit background about myself, uh, what made me choose data science and why I've chosen this particular topic for today's session. Now this session is going to briefly touch upon a wide range of topics. So I'm going to walk through introducing each of these topics briefly. First one is AWS. Second one is SageMaker. Third one is Docker. And the fourth one would be ECR, which is an equivalent to Docker. Finally, I'm going to walk through all the steps that we're going to perform for this particular tutorial. And to wrap up, I'll have summary and time for Q&A. So having said that, let's get started. So today's session is about AWS SageMaker and how to deploy a custom model in SageMaker. So AWS is a, as you know, a cloud provider. And we are going to walk through and learn how you can deploy any machine learning model, which is custom, which is not available uh, and you've made it customized for your particular needs. That means you have taken the algorithm and maybe tweaked it to suit your use case. So in those cases, how would you go through and deploy it uh, for any end user to be able to consume your model? So this is all the topic for today. Moving on to a little bit background about myself. I am a senior data scientist in Boomi's R&D department. Boomi is a integration platform provider. We have a tool which is called Atomsphere, which is used for building processes uh, using a drag and drop tool. I have a master's degree from Carnegie Mellon University and over six years of experience in this field of AI and machine learning from India as well as from United States. Um, my main passion is in the NLP space and I like to do research on state-of-the-art NLP stuff. I also am recently inclined towards ML ops and this particular topic inclines towards that aspect. So um, I'm in a good position to give you this talk and give you a little bit background about how ML ops can make your life much easier by enabling you to deploy certain custom things. So as I mentioned, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. So let's get started with a brief introduction of all of these terminologies we're going to be using today. First one is uh, AWS. So AWS is a cloud provider similar to uh, Azure and GCP. It's one of the most widely used uh, cloud platform. And within AWS, there are a bunch of services, maybe hundreds and thousands of services uh, that are being provided. And one of that, those services is called SageMaker. SageMaker is the service which is used for any and every machine learning operation that you might want to perform. For example, training your model, preparing your data, um, you know, deploying your model, tuning your model, evaluating your any of these operations can be done in this SageMaker platform. It comes with Jupyter notebooks. It also comes with IDEs that you can play with. It was initially launched in 2017, but in the past five years, obviously, it has added more and more um, sub-services within its ecosystem. And it's completely easy to use, intuitive, and you can use it for the entire machine learning life cycle. There is although uh, one drawback. So even though it's equipped with many of the models that you can use, like the inbuilt models, or even the popular models like XGBoost, there still can be some use cases. In fact, many use cases where you might want to take an existing model and change it to your particular need or create your own algorithm or your own model. 
so in that case sage maker will not have the provision for you to easily deploy it so for that sage maker comes with a docker based approach which we're going to learn in this tutorial so this is all about sage maker now let's move on to the next topic so the next thing that we're going to talk about is docker uh, as many of you from software backgrounds must have heard about what a docker is a docker is a container which provides the environment for running applications so let's say you have an application and you've built it in a windows machine which has a lot of software packages dependencies and then you share it with somebody who's running it on a linux system um, it's going to fail and it's going to come across a lot of errors so to get rid of that situation we have a docker which is like a container which wraps uh, all the code the software utils tools right libraries dependencies configuration files everything so it can be run in another machine or another environment as an independent and isolated from the host and anything else so this is something that we're going to use in our tutorial today so the next thing that we need to learn about is called ecr or it stands for elastic container registry it is also a service provided by aws and the purpose of this service is to upload and store the image that you created using the docker in your local machine so what it does is once you upload your image in ecr it can be directly accessed in your jupyter notebook for model building purposes so it doesn't do much just enables you to store your docker so now we are going to walk through all the steps um, so aws has actually provided a really awesome github repository that can be a good starting point and we can tweak it as per our, as per our own needs so i've attached the link to this ppt and i will also share a blog which contains all of the code and everything that i've talked today in the presentation so you can access it and test it out in your own leisure time so the first step is to install docker in your local machine so depending on if you have a mac or a linux or a windows machine you need to install uh, docker the second step is to save this repository in your local machine so this is the repository that we are going to work with uh, for our session today and uh, it contains the logic for training the models for creating the docker file for uh, also the code that you can use in your jupyter notebook um, so it contains everything um, so the next step would be to build a docker image so once you have downloaded docker in your local and you've saved this repository now we will build the docker image so any changes that you want to make would be the best time to make it now so let's say this particular repository is building a model for decision tree you can use and test it out for XGBoost and change the data inside the data folder. So let's try it out with decision tree. So you go to the folder where the GitHub repository is saved in your terminal and enter the command docker build minus T decision tree. Decision tree, I have named it decision tree, but you can name it whatever you would like. This would build the image. It could take a couple of minutes. Now to validate whether your image was built or not you can type the command docker images and you would see that it's completed the next step is we want to check whether now our training script works or not in order to do that you will uh, type the command docker run and you can give the location of the script uh, the training script wherever it's inside the location once it runs successfully you would be able to see a message which says training complete if you want to change this message you can go go to your training file and change the print commands and then you can see now we see that our training is complete so we can upload this image to ecr to upload the image we go to the aws console by entering this url and the next step would be to search for ecr which is elastic container registry so you go to the aws console search for ecr and cl click uh, get started and create repository when you
click on create repository, it actually gives you a UI, which is shown in the right hand side. Um, the first step would be to give a name to your repository. You can name it whatever you would like. I have given it my repo here. Keep everything settings, all the other settings exactly the same and click on create repository. The next step would be now this is this has just created an empty repository. So you need to push the Docker image that you had in your local and push it to this ECR empty repository. To do that, you can click on the view push commands on the new repo and follow the commands, just copy paste and paste it in your terminal. After you enter these commands, it's gonna push it and it's gonna take a couple of minutes to push all the Docker image to your uh, ECR. After it is done, we are good to go and completely switch gears and go to SageMaker. So in the Amazon console, search for SageMaker. Once the SageMaker console opens, you can click on notebooks on the left hand panel and create a no new notebook instance. To create a new notebook instance, you can give it a name and keep all the default settings as is. The next step would be we want to run the code and which will actually access the ECR URL and be able be enable us to deploy our code. So uh, I have added this code in the blog that I will be sharing later. So you can just copy paste that. All this code is doing is creating, um, getting some basic imports, uh, the Boto3 and SageMaker, these libraries are needed to be able to talk to ECR. You create a new session and here you uh, specify the name of the Docker image that you just created. So remember in ECR, we added our Docker image and it created a URL. So that URL actually goes here. And after that, you will specify where do you want to save the model? So the models are typically saved in an S3 bucket. S3 bucket is another service provided by AWS. It's just a storage unit. So you just assign, uh, create a bucket and save your files in that bucket. So this step is just doing that. So this uh, basically sets up our SageMaker role, image, and everything. Now we need to create an estimator and deploy our model. So estimator is a class which is basically used to define the configuration, like what is my um, image where I have the Docker? What is the role uh, that I want to assign? What is the instance type? So instance type is basically the size, and this varies depending on what kind of training you're doing, what is your data size, and define your output path. So here in the image name, we're actually going to give the Docker image that we passed into our ECR and instance type, we're gonna keep it as is. This should be more than enough for our example. You can give any base job name. I've given it decision tree here. So this basically defines our estimator class. The next step would be to call the fit to actually train the model. So we call decision tree dot fit. Now this will actually run the training script inside our Docker image model directory. This will take a couple of minutes to run and to wrap up. The next would be to, after the training is done, we need to deploy it. So we are going to deploy it, uh, give, give it a name. Let's give it decision tree endpoint and call the dot deploy class. Here again, we have to tell the instance type depending on what is the inference uh, capacity of this model. It's it again, we're going to keep it t 2 dot medium for this example. After we are done with deploying, we can go back to our SageMaker console and click on endpoints, and we'll be able to see the endpoint that we just created. Now, this endpoint can be accessed through um, a Lambda function or even in your SageMaker notebook to make predictions in the model. So after we are done with using our model, we can delete the endpoint because it costs money. So make sure that you don't keep it running. So yeah, now we have our custom model deployed. I think this was a very useful uh, talk on how you can use any custom model, build a, build a Docker image, put it in ECR, 
and expose it to SageMaker and use the estimator class to deploy it and be able to use it for any purpose. So all of these steps are outlined in the article that I've uh, shared here. I would be sharing that so that you can uh, refer these steps and perform this on your own spare and leisure time. So to summarize, we went over custom model deployment today using SageMaker. We learned about Docker and ECR and SageMaker and how these three can help us to deploy a custom model uh, with easy. So having said that, I want to thank you all for your patience and for listening to me today. And I would like to open the stage now for any questions that you might have. Thank you.